So welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today I've got some new important FIFA 21 details that you need to know. This is going to affect some career mode players and maybe people that just play foot in general and stuff. EA has recently announced that the EA catalog is not going to be in FIFA 21. I'm going to go over their official statement on what's going on really, really soon. And also EA released the top 100 player rating. So we're going to take a look at them as well. See if there's any career mode gems, any upgrades, downgrades. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It always helps. For all the latest FIFA 21 news, make sure you subscribe today. We've also got some FIFA 21 content coming really soon, so subscribe today so you don't miss anything. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. They've got a new and improved app and they want you to try it out. It's cleaner, simpler and smarter than ever. Now this app is the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use my link in the description. You can download it for free. So for many years now, the EA catalog has been a part of FIFA games. It's been the home of the boots, the balls, the career mode perks, the all-star teams, and much, much more. In FIFA 21, all this catalog stuff is going to be disappearing because EA has decided to remove it completely. Yesterday, EA put out a tweet that confirmed the news, and they've also linked an article as well. So we're going to take a look at the article, see what they have to say. So it says, learn more about the removal of the football catalog in FIFA 21 and see where items have been redistributed. What is the EA catalog? The EA catalog is a feature available in older FIFA titles. It is no longer available in FIFA 21. Most of the items that were traditionally redeemable from the catalog have been redistributed to other areas of the game in FIFA 21 in order to make them more easily accessible. You can still increase your level, earn football club credits, and redeem items in previous FIFA versions that have this feature. Where to find items previously available in the catalog. So in FIFA 21, these are where the items are going to be located. So if you want to look for boots and balls that you can unlock, they're going to be available by default now when released through title updates and activated by server release updates. So you don't have to go into the catalog, use your coin things and download the boots and stuff to your game. They're just gonna put them in through the patches and they'll all be there when you go to change boots for a player. If you're looking for the MLS All-Star teams and Adidas All-Star teams, usually you would have to go to the catalog to get them, but now they're gonna be available to everyone in kickoff, so you don't have to do anything there. Now for those people that use the online seasons perks, these are going to be in the online seasons menu and can be redeemed once per season with no total limit. Now for crew mode people, there was a financial takeover perk in the catalog where you would redeem it and you would have a takeover in your game. But now it's going to be in the setup option when creating a new crew mode save. So I think there is a setting where you can set how much money you want. So it's basically the same thing. And this one's probably better as well because with the catalog, the items would, once redeemed, just disappear and you couldn't use them more than like three or four times. So I think it's for the better. And then you've got the crew mode rematch button as well, which was something you had to unlock in the catalog. That is now going to be part of the manager career mode end of match experience as an option. So instead of unlocking it, it's going to be there by default after every game. And then you've got Scout Future Star, which obviously we knew something was up with this when EA announced the homegrown talent pre-order bonus. It says this Scout Future Star item is no longer available, but each manager career mode save will feature a populated youth academy from the start. So yeah, they've got rid of this, but of course the pre-order bonus of homegrown talent is very, very similar to this. Now if you're worried about any of the other perks, it says other previously available catalog items including the manager, player, career, training, co-op seasons, win, draw, extra match, and international manager offer are not in FIFA 21. Now the only thing I'm upset about is this one, the international manager offer. I think that would have been good to have because sometimes you want to get that offer from the national team, but you don't get it. And uh, this was a way to, you know, redeem it and get that contract you're looking for. I don't know if there's going to be a setting in FIFA 21 that lets you get this, but for now, this one is gone. And that's pretty much it for the catalog news. Now, with that news out of the way, let's take a look at the FIFA 21 player ratings. EA announced this yesterday as well. The top 100 has been revealed and uh, some downgrades, some upgrades, but we'll start with the highlights down here. And then I'll show you some more things. So here are the best of the best in FIFA 21. The top players, you've got Messi at number one, 93 overall. Ronaldo, number two, 92 overall. Lewandowski, number three. Neymar, De Bruyne, Oblak. We've got Ter Stegen, Van Dijk and Mane. Salah, Alisson and Mbappe. Aguero, Sergio Ramos and Benzema. Neuer, Courtois, Casemiro, Handanovic and Tony Cruz. So this is the best center backs for FIFA 21. You can use this information to maybe plan some crew mode signings if you want. I don't know, but we'll just go through them quickly, not too long, you know. Van Dijk, Ramos, number one and number two. We've got Koulibaly and Laporte, three and four. Chiellini and PK, five and six. Hummels and Varane, seven and eight. Maquinhos and Delict, Delike, I don't even know. Thiago Silva, Scrinia, Lengley and Bonucci. We've got Older Wireworld and Godin, De Vrij and Alaba. Felipe and Fernandinho, 
And those are the best centre-backs in the game. Now it's time to take a look at the best goalkeepers. So number one and number two is Oblak and Allison. We've got Testegen and Courtois. We've got Neuer and Edison. We've got Handanovic and Navas. Lloris and Chesney. De Gea with a massive three-point downgrade to 86 overall. Now he comes in at number 11. And Sommer is number 12. We've got Donnarumma and Leno. Galaxy and Berkey. Schmeichel and Rui Patricio. We've got Onana and Sirigu that make up the top 20. Now it's time to take a look at the best wingers, which also includes left mid, right mid, left wing, and right wing. So number one is Messi. He's coming in with a 93 overall this year. Neymar at number two. Salah and Mane, three and four. Hazard and Sterling. We've got Di Maria and Sancho. Sancho with 83 pace. Pretty ridiculous. Come on, EA. You could have made him a bit quicker. Son and Bernardo Silva. Gnabry and Mares. Insigne and Rashford. Sane and Pizzi. Guerrero and Oyarzabal. We've got Coman and Jose Callahan, And that is your best wingers in FIFA 21. Now it's time for the best central midfielders, including CDM, Cam and Center Mid, De Bruyne and Casemiro 1 and 2, Kimmich and Cruz, Kante and Modric. I mean, there's a lot of pace downgrades here as well. Bruno Fernandes and Fabinho. I mean, there's going to be a lot of slow players in this game. Sergio Busquets, mate, just give up, mate. 42 pace. You're better off just walking on the pitch if you've got 42 pace. Muller is there as well. Pogba and Verratti. Pogba with 73 pace. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he's not that quick, but oh, he's just going to feel slow in my career modes now. Verratti coming in after Pogba. 64 pace. Gomez and Henderson. David Silva and Thiago. Havertz and Luis Alberto. Ziyech and Royce. And that is your best midfielders. This is the best La Liga players. So you've got Oblak, Carvajal. Ramos and PK, Jordi Alba, Casemiro, Cruz and Modric, Messi and Benzema, and Hazard up top. On the bench, you've got Testegen, Courtois, Suarez, Griezmann, Busquets and David Silva, Varane and Pereo, Koke, Lengley, De Jong and Navas, Partey and Iago Aspas. That is your best La Liga players. Now we move on to the Premier League ones. Allison and Alexander-Arnold. Massive card there. That's going to be a good player. Van Dijk, Laporte. Robertson, De Bruyne, Kante, Bruno Fernandes, Salah, Aguero, Mane, 94 pace. And then we've got Kane and Sterling, Edison, Aubameyang, 93 pace, uh, Son, Firmino, Bernardo Silva, Fabinho, and Lloris. Now let's take a look at the best fullback. So this includes right back and left back. So you've got Alexander Arnold, Robertson, Carvajal, Jordi Alba, Walkup, Ricardo Pereira, Alexandro Digne, Alex Telles, Talia Fico. As Piliqueta, Jesus Navas, Grimaldo, Juan Besaka, Juan Bernat and Trippier, Mendy and Marcelo, Joel Cancelo and Acuna. And that is your best uh, defenders there, the best right backs and that. And then we've got the best strikers. Ronaldo with a 92 card this year, 89 pace. Lewandowski up next. Mbappe and Aguero. Benzema and Kane. Dybala and Immobile. Aubameyang and Suarez. Griezmann and Roberto Firmino, Vardy and Lukaku, Depay and Werner, we've got Mertens and Icardi, Haaland with an 84 card, now massive upgrade from FIFA 20, Ilicic there as well. And if you want to see every player ranked from 1 to 100, go on the EA website, they've got this database, and you can see the different stats for different players, so you've got Messi, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, De Bruyne, those are the top 10 and all that, but it goes all the way up to like number 100. I was looking for information about like under 21s, the high potential players, but I don't think they've released anything like that at the moment. But yeah, there's a few players that we didn't cover in the other highlights. So if you want to check them out, feel free to go on this database and you'll see the best players in FIFA 21. So here we could see Ramos's new face in all its glory. Nice HD photo. And here are some extra Liverpool ratings. You can pause and take a look at some of their players. But that pretty much wraps up the news for today. Please make sure you check out this other FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you right there. I'll see you next time.